ISFJs and ISFPs are two personality types that have so much in common that they share no cognitive functions. Yeah, the letters aren't super helpful with the 16 personalities. That's why you need to learn about the cognitive functions. And would you look at that? I have a playlist talking all about them. You should totally watch that after this video. Because right now, I have three easy ways to tell if you're an ISFJ or an ISFP. Number one, getting stuff done versus getting nothing done. Of all the sensors, I think ISFPs are the most scatterbrained. Don't get me wrong, they're nowhere nearly as bad as the scrambled egg-brained intuitives, but ISFPs won't be getting any awards for productivity, that's for sure. ISFJs, on the other hand, are quite good at keeping routines, especially self-care and health ones. ISFJs are spa junkies. Well, home spa junkies. ISFJs are also quite frugal. When it comes to occupational habits, ISFJs are kind of mad on them. They're still pretty good, but they just don't care about them that much. So I guess there's something they have in common with ISFPs. ISFPs like routines, they want to be productive, but it's just something they struggle with. Number two, individual values versus collective values. To both ISFPs and ISFJs, values are super important, especially to ISFPs. Values are pretty much their whole identity, but ISFJs get their value from the tribe. They focus highly on other people's feelings and use them to create their own, where ISFPs get their values from themselves because they're selfish. But on the flip side, ISFPs put high value in other people's values too, and they want everyone to live by their truth. ISFJs want everyone to live by their truth too, just as long as their truth fits in with everybody else's. ISFJs support cohesion, while ISFPs support diversity. Number three, can't decide versus can decide. ISFJs know what they want, and more importantly, they know what they don't want. And what they don't want is pretty much anything new. ISFJs pay very close attention to the past, and use that to inform their future decisions. Because of their past reference skills, ISFJs can be pretty quick at making decisions. ISFPs, on the other hand, are pretty open-minded and like to try new things, which means that ISFPs can easily become caught up in all the choices and options they have, which can be really fun on one hand, but on the other hand, when it comes to making split-second decisions, it kinda sucks. If you're still having a hard time telling if you're an ISFP or ISFJ, ask yourself, do you struggle with getting stuff done or not? Do you put more value on the feelings of others or your own feelings? And does change excite you or are you change skeptical? If you're still confused, I made a video on both the ISFP and ISFJ. I've been Trevor Knight. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to my patrons and I'll catch you guys all next time.